A rise in organized crime right here in San Diego. Tomorrow there's a panel to address this rising threat against both big and small businesses in our community. I want to bring in District Attorney Summer Steffen with a preview of tomorrow's talks. Good evening to you. Good evening, Jenny. You know, this is something that we've been following in Los Angeles, San Francisco, but we are no stranger to this uh, either. I mean, just the other day, I believe a 7-Eleven was ambushed by a group of kids or, or young people. Um, can we talk about how big of an increase this has been here locally? It has been an increase locally and across the nation, but in San Diego, we came together to send a strong message that we're not going to put up with it, that this is not a victimless crime when people come in and they clean out the shelves and they resell it online and they cause terror to the employees, to customers, and to the community. So we've put a lot of effort in it, and this is why tomorrow the U.S. Chamber of Commerce is hosting uh, an event, a virtual event, to bring light to this issue, and our office is invited to be a panelist to talk about the solutions we put in place. Okay, so let's kind of give a definition of what this organized crime is. This is, is this basically the same as a smash and grab? like groups of people kind of ambushing the store? The smash and grabs are probably the most visible part of it, but it's a lot bigger than that. But the smash and grab certainly brought the attention to it. The key here is that this is organized. This is a shopping list that people are coming in. They're not trying to steal food to feed their children that night. This is an organized crime activity where they're looking for a certain product. You know, whether it is a certain makeup item, a tool at Home Depot, a brand of jeans that they can then resell online to their higher fence. It's sold on uh, Facebook Marketplace, Amazon, all of these places that are completely unregulated. So unsuspecting buyers are buying stolen goods that are causing all of this crime on our streets. So a lot of these retailers I noticed, um, I know it's happened at Mac stores, et cetera, the, the, the people working there are told they can't do anything. They just have to stand back and watch. Um, what are the issues that these, especially small businesses that are targeted, are dealing with? Because they really can't do much when this happens, it seems. Well, they're concerned about their employees because uh, about 70% of the stores report an increase in violence. And they're concerned that their employees are going to get hurt because they're, in fact, getting hurt. They're getting guns, knives, weapons pulled on them when they try to intervene. So the stores have put these policies that are actually encouraging them more theft, but you can't blame them because they're trying to keep their employees safe from further violence. So it's a catch-22. Uh, sadly, I'm out in the community, you know, all the time talking to small and big business owners, and they've come up with different strategies. But until we change our laws and we bring more accountability to the online sellers, this is a multi-billion dollar industry, this organized theft, and it's going to continue. In San Diego, though, we've been sending them to prison by pulling all of the cases together to make one massive organized crime case. And that has sent a strong message and lowered our numbers here while across the nation they continue to rise. Well, that's what I was going to ask because Prop 47 says theft under $950 can't be charged as a felony no matter of how many times that crime is repeated. Is that still the case? Is that causing a problem with these repeat offenders? This is definitely encouraging habitual offenders because the intention of the law was the first time a thief who needs something, even though theft is always wrong, that it's a misdemeanor. But habitual yeah. offenders and organized thieves and groups have taken advantage of it where this is their business, is to go in and steal every day. And so long as it's under $950, it continues to be a misdemeanor, which is usually not even bookable in jail time after time after time. Okay, San Diego County District Attorney Summer Stefan again, that panel against organized crime happening tomorrow. We appreciate uh, your discussion tonight.